tales for dark nights. At this point, he starts wondering why he started this trip. More importantly, why he didn't just fly. He had more than enough money. That's why he was going to Vegas in the first place. Hit it big and bring some real cash back. Not the dimes and nickels he makes at his dead-end job. The road sign up ahead says 100 miles to Las Vegas. 100 miles. Kicking it up to 90 miles per hour would get him there before 9 p.m. So he sped up, cranked up the music, and enjoyed the desert sky. It was just after the sun had fully set. The sky was oranges and deep blues. The breeze was cool, and the lights from the strip were bouncing off the distant clouds. Hills would occasionally get in the way. He kept thinking, maybe after this hill he would see Vegas, but the landscape kept teasing him. After 30 minutes of this game, of highs and lows, he noticed his fuel gauge was almost on empty. Adrenaline kicked in at the sight of it, and panic slowly set in. Each hill gave way to another slowly climbing hill. Over the next one. Over the next one. Over the next one. Repeating time and time again in his head. But something else came. A truck stop. Relief hit him hard. He turned down his music, turned into the parking lot, and pulled up to a pump. Filled the tank, went inside to pay. The inside was large, looked like it had everything a traveler would need probably did. He went back to his car, put the key in, and it wouldn't turn over. Great, of all times to break down, he thought. He popped the hood to see if the problem was hopefully obvious, and it was. The spark plugs were bad. He went back inside to see if they had any. Just as luck, they did. He got the new ones installed and tried it again. It almost did, then a loud snap. He opened the hood to see the horrors that waited for him. The main engine belt had snapped. In fact, the whole belt was worn down to no thicker than a thread. Once again, he went inside and to his relief, and the cashier's humor, that had the right kind of belt. He got it put on and adjusted. He was nervous to start the car, but... His luck was still going good. It started. Despite what seemed like hours worth of repairs, the sky was still that majestic color it had been when he arrived. More luck, no doubt. He hoped this would continue on to the blackjack table. He pulled out of the parking lot and gunned it down the road. No more time to waste. A full tank of gas and new parts made him confident in his less-than-safe speeds. More hills to block his view, but he didn't mind it as much. It was odd that he was still that far away. He must have traveled at least 30 miles. Well, 70 miles isn't so bad, he thought. He'll be there in no time. More hills, and more hills, and more hills. It started to get to him, but that desert sky was keeping his mind off of it as much as he could. After some time, he looked back down at his gas, nearly empty. Panic slowly set in. He was hoping the strip would be right over this next hill, but it didn't seem to want to show. As the meter was reaching the last tick of gas, something else came up. A truck stop. Relief washed over him. He slowed down, pulled into the parking lot, and pulled up to a pump. Filled his car, paid inside got back in and took off. The strip's lights shining against the orange clouds and deep blue sky. He'll be there in no time, he thought. A hundred miles isn't so bad. Chilling Tales for Dark Nights